Hey, how you doing? Welcome to your beauty -o. Excuse me, I'm eating. I'm hungry. But guess where we're going? We're going to Sabuio Club. We're going to go play some Sabuio. I've set up a Sabuio Club, which I don't know if I've done this right. I don't know if I haven't done it right. But that's where we're going. There's a table in the back. There's another table in the back without a pitch on it. We're starting a club. And I think it could be good. This is our first night. I think this could work. It's our first night. And I think I'm going to have, I don't know, between six and ten people show up. So, so I've wanted to play a British video for a while. I hope you should ignore me. I'm out for the food. I'm hungry. So tough. So I've wanted to play Sputio for a little while. Actually go out, talk to someone, play one on one. And I said this on an episode of the uh, on the podcast on Netflix, the Sputio show. And then Adam Lee from Wobbly Hobbly Shop and the Sputio, or the English Sputio Association, I said, do it, you gotta do it, you gotta do it. I was like, oh. I want it to be casual, I don't want it to be all competitive because you've seen my videos on Fistiff and that. I've been like, oh God, there's no fun in this. So I don't want it to be like that. And he's like, you can do it, you can do it. I was like, look, let me see if I can get a venue. The message about it, I thought about it, I was like, all right, I'll go out. And I went out and I spent a day looking for a venue, I suppose. I went through a few local pubs, micro breweries. I like to think I'm a little bit arrogant with my beer and I don't just want to be somewhere drinking Carlin or Carlsberg or your stereotypical beer. So I went to a micro pub in Rayleigh called Crafty Casks. I went to a pub near me. I went to a local sports centre. And I basically went in them all and said, I ain't got no money, but I want to we want to do a speedo club. We bring some people down, set up the tables and play. And in Crafty Casks, when I went in there, the actual owner wasn't there, but his dad was there. His dad was like, yeah, I remember some beauty. Oh, look, let me tweet a little chat. And he said, let me give him a number, blah, blah, blah. And his son phoned me back and uh, he said we could do it. And we was gonna, I was aiming to do it sooner, but we couldn't because Alan couldn't get down. I didn't got COVID, so I got ill and obviously we weren't allowed out, it's why isolate. And here we finally are. So me and Alan pinged some messages backwards and forwards and we sort of said, he said we only need one table. I was like, no, we need to, I want two. So we've got, he's providing some stuff for one of the tables. I've put together a retro table because I want this to be non I want this to be fun more than anything, right? I want people to come and have fun. So I've got a retro pitch for people to play on. I've built a whole table. We'll finish building another one as, as, as things go on. And we're just gonna turn up and play some casual beauty. We've put together some casual pub rules. I have no idea what to expect from this. No idea at all. I think we could have, well, uh, it could be about seven or eight people coming, which is why I'm really glad that I've um, got at least two tables. But I suppose we could be going for even more tables. Whether this has got legs and it stays on afterwards, I don't know. Crafty Casks in Rayleigh are letting us play there for free on a Tuesday night because it's one of their quietest nights. I suppose you'll get a bit of beer money out of it. So massive props to them. All the other places I went to, I thought were in nice as well, but they didn't get back to me. This place did. So that's good news. As it stands, I don't know how often we're gonna meet. Could be weekly, fortnightly, monthly. I wanna work it out with everyone tonight. I want it to be that sort of community feel. I personally think weekly would be too often. I think fortnight would be good. Some people might think monthly is good. We'll work out whether we're going to do a league. First night, tonight, we'll just do some casual friendly games and I suppose we'll work out if we do a league. But I want it to be that type of league where people can come and go. It doesn't matter if you turn up. And we'll just take it from now. I don't know how much we'll charge going forward. It could be that it's free first night and then we have to charge a couple of quid subs or a few quid subs going forward because we've got to pay for the tables. They cost me a bit of money. We've got to pay for pitches further down. If you want to have trophies for tournaments, we've got to pay for them. But you know what? This wasn't as hard as it seems. The hardest bit was finding the venue that would actually have us, I suppose. And that wasn't particularly hard. Setting up a Sputio Club is not hard. You haven't, got to, you haven't got to do it professionally. You haven't got to play professional rules. I literally and I literally just got on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, everywhere, just setting out posts in all the groups and all this. Do you want to play Sputio casually? Do you fancy a game? And people messaged me and said they wanted to come. And there's people who can't come tonight who want to come in the future. This has got legs. I'm uh, I'm a little bit excited. I'm bloody nervous as well, because I really haven't got a clue. I've got to give mad props to Alan Lee for helping out the way he has. He's given me great advice. He's coming down. He's bringing some supplies with him. Massive help, because I, I ain't done this before. I've run a tournament once in my shop years ago. Like Every Saturday, we had a few games for charity during World Cup 2018. But I've not done anything like this. I don't know how many games I'm going to play. 
I don't know what. I don't know if people are actually going to turn up. I don't know how many beers I'm going to have. I can't have too many, I suppose, because I'm driving, aren't I? Don't drink and drive, kids. I'm only going to have one. But let's just see where this goes. So, yeah, table's in the back. I've got some legs. I've got some balls. I've got some teams next to me. I've got a bag of teams. It's, uh, let's get there and then we'll see where this goes, eh? So here we are, we're here. Hopefully I can get into that lay-by outside the bar. Because otherwise I've got to park in the car park around the corner, which isn't far, but everywhere's far enough when you've got a, uh, when you've got a Subutio table. So let's have us a little look. Looky, looky. And no. Now I've got to go round a bloody roundabout. <sighs> oh well, round a roundabout we go. Right, we're in the car park. Well, pulling into the car park. Um, I was hoping to be able to film walking up to the bar, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do that because I'm going to take one of the tables with me. So next time you see me, I might be in the venue. So let's do some transition and see where I end up. Woo! So we're in, we're set up. There's the bar. I haven't shown you setting up. So many people have turned up. Regulars in the bar want to play as well. Come and have a look inside. We're on our second game. We've had 10 minute games. Come and have a look. So here we go, there's Alan who's helped us set up. Alan, say hello. Wobbly hobby. You're right, mate. Massive shouts. Thank you so much, mate, no, for helping us set this up. This is awesome. I mean, look at this, mate. Look at this. Look at it. Look at this. Second game, we've got complete novices against pros as well. Everyone's accepting everyone. We're teaching the game, we're learning it. So we've got two proper pros playing. What's the score, boys? 1 0. Let's pull your finger out of them. Too much polishing. You two could have played with flats. Look at this. All these people have turned up the place of Beautyo, which is absolutely ridiculous. The beer's flowing. This is pucker. Absolutely pucker. What's the score, boys? I bet you can't guess. I bet you're losing. It's nil nil. It's nil nil. It's teaching me though, come on. Alright, it's so all gone. I don't, I don't want to take any. I don't want to take anything away from your game, boys, but we've got a couple of girls going to play. Going to show you that. Going to show you right up. It's quite exciting. Yeah, it's tight. Yeah, it's tight. So who's, who's, who's explaining the rules and how to play? I don't know. It's just going to play. How long does it go easy on the rules? Oh, there's got to be some sort of rules. There's no rules. There's no rules. Well, it, well give or take. Let's see. I think we're going to be here a while, aren't we? <laughs> <laughs> There's more no players in here. So this is Millie. Millie's the manager here. Thank you for Party having us. Cast. Party cast. Party cast. She's hosting and she's having a go. No cheating. Oh, Come on, Simon's showing them how it's done. Oh, 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 oh. You did well today. Oh, what a price. So I did not think this would go like this. Just look at it. People pray around watching Sabuja. We've got the locals involved. Everyone. <laughs> it's a Tuesday. It's a Tuesday night, man. Dad, what's the matter? These two boys coming here are regulars at the bar who never played for Jack, Jack, hello. Hello. Jack, I don't think really you ever played for Julio that three times in his life. And he's definitely in it. Try to work for all And then over here, it looks really tense. But we've got Neil and William, they've not played like either. And then we've got Brad. I'm going to get so many copyright strikes on this for the Tina Turner, but that works. Boy, Jack's not calling. What happened to your hand? Oh, it's 
to your corner. Oh, oh shocking. Yes, Jack. One nil on this table. What's the score, boys? Nil, nil, nil. What have we got left? Three minutes. Right, Margo. I'm in and I'm playing nil. I'm playing nil and I'm playing with a headless player. Tim, if you're watching, if anyone else is watching who's watching the video show, you'll know I bought the team with no player. And Tim said they wouldn't use it at the club. Tim, this is him being used at the club. He's playing up front. We're going to score a goal. Come on. That was a good run as well. <laughs> Tim was right. He lost his edge. He was through on goal and he popped it. Yeah, thank you so much for coming. We'll yeah, we'll soon. see you next time, yeah? How's it going there, Stuart? It's going all right, isn't it? Enjoying You've it? seen it in there. You've yeah. seen how busy it is. We've got Tina Turner going. We've now got Starship playing. <laughs> Music and computer go hand in hand. We've got the locals playing. Jack's had a game. Me and you haven't played yet. Um, Mad Madness saxophone. Player. Madness saxophone guy. Those Paul Stewart experts. <laughs> it's been bedlam in there. Talking to Chris, the owner. He's not had a Tuesday like this in ages. He's loving it. Isn't he? So it's he's yeah, it. it's so busy in there. I'll be honest. I'm really overwhelmed by it. Yeah. It's uh, a very good night, lads. Yeah. Isn't it? Been good. I've very enjoyed myself. Thank you. Call the ball to Jack. So, Alan, Simon, you boys have been around. Let me get a point. Get a point. Simon, I'll ask you. I've asked you already, but just for everyone at home, you've been to a million Sabutio shows in your time. Million tournament shows. How does it compare this bedlam we've had tonight? This was exciting. This, it was very exciting. It's been uh, different. Uh, Say that again. Tell me about the venue because it stopped bloody recording. Oh. <laughs> it's a lovely venue. Yeah, it's a fantastic venue. Right? I always enjoy playing in a bar, especially one that has good beer like this one. Uh, great atmosphere. Atmosphere is very important for play. You know, it's important for any sport. You need a good atmosphere. You know, um, and we had it tonight. We had, we had. Everybody was up for this. Do you think the club will last? Do you think it can progress like this? Bearing in mind all the tournaments and clubs you've been to. I think it will last. Yeah, I think it will last. I think you've got a good start, a good, you know, like central core of players. Got to, people in it to get it going. Yeah, and that's that's all you need. You know, like you know, we we've started a club in Redhill, um, Chelmsford. started. Last week we got two new players. You know, we started yeah. small. Um, I can't believe the turnout of this. I thought we'd only have that. But you know, these are going to be regular players, and we'll, it will grow and slowly. So we started with five, now we've got seven, and um, it will keep going. Can you Adam. Only just, we'll mic him up. <laughs> Alan, you've been around, you've been set up, what, eight clubs this year? It's getting there, yeah. How do you think this will, do you think this will run? Do you think it's got legs? Oh, it's brilliant. I said to you before, the, uh, the whole micro club thing is, uh, is amazing, you know. The whole experience, you've had it yourself. Oh, it's great. I mean, look at it. We've had regulars involved. We've had, we've had new, new hats playing against regular veteran hats. Yeah, exactly. It's been good. Exactly. You get, you get all, the, all the ladies involved. Oh, it's been great. Yeah. It's been fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. Once again, thank you for all the help. Wobbly Hobby Shop, place to be, right? <laughs>
Boys, what's the score while we've been talking? Uh, rubbish. Bollocks. Whoa. Yeah, great idea. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna walk backwards. <laughs> We're um it's all died down. I can't believe it's like 10 past 11, right? And we just finished up. I'm taking the table home. It's gone dark. It's lots of street lights. I'm walking backwards. Jack's helped me carry the table back. Hello. Thanks, Jack. We carry the table back, so I'm gonna put sides on this table. Oh my god, that was that was more than we wanted. That was better. I thought like <laughs> four or three people would turn up. Four or three, it don't make sense. Three or four people to turn up. And then with that regulars plan, we had like 10 people come down and we found on the internet. I've gone dark, you can't even see me right now. I'm walking through an alley to a car park with a spooky board. You can't even see me. I'll, no talk to you. I'll talk to you when I'm in the car, people. <laughs> oh my God, you can see me now. I'm driving over my light on. Is that legal? Is it legal or just frowned upon? I don't know. Um, so I'm probably going to be a little bit quick as I put out the car park. But oh, I was going to swear then. Oh my God, hang on, let me sort of eat around. I'm steaming up in here. Oh my God, that was amazing. I can't believe that many people turned up. I can't believe we got the regulars going. Alan from Wobbly Hobby, you sorted us right out, mate. Thank you so much for the support. That was pucker. To everyone that come down tonight, if you're watching this, thank you. That went so well. Yeah, we only played friendlies, but I kept track of all the scores. So I'm going to put all your scores on the website. They'll probably be on there already by now. I am so tired. It's what? We started at what? Half past seven. It's now half 11 crafty casks thank you so much for having us that was absolutely awesome we're going to get together every two weeks so we've decided we'll do this every two weeks we're not going to charge any subs we're just going to go for it we're going to try and set up next time we come down we'll try and set up a beginner's table we're then going to set up a pro table so we can separate a bit and try and teach the regulars how to play because a couple of regulars come up and said look they really enjoyed it but it was a bit of a crash course on how to play so we're going to try and show them how to play a little bit and we might do a shootout tournament at the end and see who wins, but honestly, wow, I'm so overwhelmed right now. I'm not sleeping. I'm not sleeping tonight. We've left the table there. I've got a table in the back that I'm gonna put some boards on. Wobbly Hobbly Shop, they've been unbelievably kind and donated some stuff to the club. So we've got some amazing goals. We've got a festive Astro pitch. Honestly, it's amazing. Alan Lee, you've really, really helped us out. That was absolutely awesome. I appreciate it so much. This is amazing, I'm buzzing. I'm so buzzing. I've set up a Subutio club. It was absolute bedlam. It was absolute bedlam at times. You've probably seen the footage. <laughs> that's what I wanted, right? I, my wife, Joe, you keep taking a mix saying, I keep going on about, oh, casual. And you're like, oh, if you say you want it to be casual one more time. Seriously, that's what I wanted. It was fun. Everyone had a laugh. One of the regulars said to us at one point, he was like, oh, I'll be honest, I see you all walk in and thought, oh Sorry, my God. I'm having trouble hearing you. I hope my watch is talking. Don't worry about that. He then, went to me and I was like, oh, it was so much fun. We had a right laugh. Crafty casks, wobbly hobbly shop, everyone that come down, thank you so, so much. That was awesome. I've done it. I've put together a Subutio club. I've put together a casual Subutio club where anyone can come down, a veteran can come down and enjoy it, a brand new player can come down and enjoy it, somebody who's rubbish at playing can come down and enjoy it, somebody who don't care for the rules can enjoy it. That was awesome. I'm going to go. I'm now going to focus on driving home and turning this light off so I don't get pulled over just in case I go past the copper or something like that. I really appreciate you all joining into the vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me likes. Let me know in the comments. Let me know if you're going to come down and see us. Hit me up on the socials. I'll see you all very, very soon. And as always, as we will at Raz the Casual Subutio Club, keep on flicking.